Hey friends, in this video I'm going to show you how you can plug in your own domain name into GetResponse. If you don't have a GetResponse account, you can get one by simply going to darrenolander.com slash recommend slash GetResponse. So what entering your own domain name allows you to do is basically cloak the GetResponse.com domains into your own. It'll change the tracking URLs to remove the URLs and it'll create your own brand into your email campaigns. So I myself spent several days going back and forth with GetResponse trying to get this to work because they don't have a video tutorial. They kind of told me the wrong things to do over and over again and finally we got to the point where I was able to figure out and get the domain working. So I'm going to show you those simple steps right now. First of all, you need a domain name that you'll use only exclusively with GetResponse because you cannot use it for hosting your own website, you cannot use it for re receiving email. The only Once you change the settings on the domain, it will only be able to work with GetResponse. So in that case, you may want to purchase your own domain name and it's only under $10 a year anyway to get a domain name and you can get something that will brand yourself and help you stand out from being just uh, using the getresponse.com one. I myself use Namecheap uh, but you can use any registrar as long as you'll know how to change one of the records in for your domain name and if you don't know you can always ask your registrar. So after you get your domain name simply log into your get, get response account you'll click on my account then you'll go down to my domains and you'll be on this page now when you hover over an area you will see that there is a domain name here it'll say and there's a DNS with an IP you need to remember that IP address because we're going to be using that now first of all I was going around here I was uh, this is in my Namecheap account and I was changing the name servers I was trying to transfer the DNS I was trying to register name servers and I was trying all these different record types and nothing was working but it's actually pretty simple all you have to do is change the A record type and to do that in Namecheap you go to manage your domain and then you click on all host records and you'll be on this page you simply enter the IP address from the page that I just showed you right here into your IP address field here choose record type A and just uh, leave that at default and then put it again for the www and record type A again and then you will save your changes. Now it can take some time for those changes to propagate so you might want to wait 24 hours before continuing and the way you'll know it's working is if you go directly to your domain name it should then redirect to getresponse.com so once you have that working you simply need to go back into GetResponse into the my domains and you'll enter your domain name here and you don't put www here or http or anything you simply put the domain name as domain.com and then you add your domain and then below it should pop up here with your domain name and it should say that the domain is active now at first I thought okay I'm done great it should be working now and I tested it and that doesn't work yet because there's one final step after your domain is entered you need to go to campaigns campaigns list you'll choose one of your campaigns and choose the wrench next to it you'll click on message and then right here you'll see assigned domain and right now it says assigned for me but it'll say unassigned for you at first you'll choose your domain from the drop down and you'll click assign now if you want to put multiple domains in you can do that and have one domain for a different campaign which is pretty cool but as this is only assigned to this campaign you will need to assign that domain to all the other campaigns that you have with GetResponse for it to work for those campaigns too and the benefit of having different domains for different campaigns would be to create different brand images through your domain names okay so I hope you enjoyed and this was helpful I'll see you next time bye